Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield, and welcome back to Stow On Side. So yes, the last episode ended up being a lot more different than I anticipated, and yeah, it was just me uh, just showing you what happened in the wild area during uh, what was originally just going to be an in-between like episodes, just training session, which ended up lasting about two hours, hence why that previous episode happened. But uh, if you decide to skip the previous episode, I'll do a very, very uh, quick uh, recap. And, oh yeah, expansion pass. Yeah, you can, that's, you can definitely tell just how far in advance I typically record, because this is actually the first proper episode that I'm recording uh, since the Pokemon Direct. And I believe a new Pokemon is found at uh, one of the stations, but we'll get to that another time. So let's go to Pokemon, just have a quick look. So all my Pokemon have leveled up quite uh, quite a lot since last time, uh, in the high 30s there. I managed to find and catch a Riolu, and I'm hoping to uh, train it up and hopefully evolve into a Lucario very soon. Also got myself a Vibrava, it managed to evolve. And I decided just to use these Pokemon uh, for the next gym battle. But I do have a few other Pokemon. Um, my Salazzle, by the way, is now level 40 because I was just using it to uh, battle against a ton of Snova. <laughs> high level Snova. Uh, also got Gyarados as a result of an evolution. Still got to try and evolve Corvus Squire, but we'll worry about that another time. Plus, just a few other random Pokemon uh, caught or evolved uh, during my time in the wild area um, previously. So, with that, let's just have a quick look at the summary, just check our items, because the next gym leader is going to be the specialist in ghost type, so ideally, uh, ghost and dog type moves are going to be our friends, so, you know one. Toxtricity doesn't, but you're still pretty strong, so I should be able to uh, get your help if necessary. Plus, i got Obstagoon now, which is probably going to be my main Pokemon for this gym. Uh, Riolu's I'm not going to be using, but I'm going to keep you in my squad just to train you up a little bit, hopefully it'll evolve you. We've got Dreadnor, who knows Bite, and we know how strong its attack is, so again, that could be uh, beneficial for us. And we've also got Vibrava, who knows Crunch, so you could help as well. So actually, I've got a decent amount of Pokemon that could help me. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Obstagoon up front in preparation for the gym battle. Or rather, the, just the challenge before we get to the gym battle, rather. And here we are. Still on side stadium. And actually, we haven't even checked up, up, up here yet, actually. Come see the famed sites of Still on side. Discover the history of the Galar region. I want to show the Still on side ruins to my Diglett. Who knows? Maybe I'll awaken some uh, latent artistic talent. Who knows? Although, yeah, that's something. We haven't actually checked out up here yet. So, you know what? Before we do the gym battle, let's have a quick peek up here. Known as power spots, the gym stadiums of the Galar region are built on these power spots. Uh, hello. Got some great deals in the market. Mm, good for you. <laughs> Fair enough. And, yeah, there we go. Have a quick peek up here. There's the, uh, the mural. Very nice it is as well. Anyway, uh, not a lot we can do up here right now, so let's just head back to the gym. Because I'm in the mood to get my fourth gym badge, I think it is. Yeah, it's my fourth gym badge, I think. Anyway, let's head inside. Ah, yes, and it's not a uh, stadium without the ball guy. So, by the sounds of it, you're going to give me... Yep, you're going to give me a heavy ball. A Pokeball that is better than usual catching very heavy Pokemon. Heavy balls, rock and roll at catching heavy Pokemon. Pretty straightforward, right? If you're a fan of big heavy Pokemon, then this is the Pokeball for you. Right, well, I can't wait to see uh, your next Pokeball in the next gym. Uh, I'm doing my gym challenge while I'm wasting my Pokemon, but I may have to change my team members. Uh, you've come all the way to Stow on side, so be sure to win. I'll give it a go. I don't think there's anyone else to talk to. Oh, you want to talk to me? Many challenges have already given up their gym challenges. But you and your Pokemon have been hanging in there. Oh yes. And I have no plans to quit. Eep! A gym challenger. Are you here to challenge the gym? <laughs> what was that <laughs> kind of reaction? Okay, so uh, change into my uniform. There 
There we go. Number 448, do your best. Yep, that number will definitely make a whole lot more sense once Riolu evolves. But I'm not worried about that right now because we've got another gym badge to uh, get ourselves. And of course, as this is shield, um, I was going to say... It might be slightly different, but no, the challenge actually looks very similar to the one in uh, Pokemon Sword with the other, with the uh, the different gym leader. It was a uh, B, isn't it, with uh, the fighting type? So uh, complete the mission. You need to rise in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Rotate your control stick to the right, and so basically, you just have to constantly rotate the stick. Which, yeah, I do find that a little bit annoying, but, well, that's the way it goes, it's the challenge. Right, let's get ourselves into uh, this thing here. Oops, steady, steady, oh dear. Steady. Steady. No, no, come on, that's it. Come on, stop bouncing off the walls like that. And there we go. And first um, person to battle against here. Gym Trainer Clive. All right, Clive, let's see what Pokemon you have. Pumpkaboo. As I said, this gym lead, the gym's speciality is the ghost type. So yeah, Night Slash is going to be very effective against these Pokemon. So yeah, I have high hopes for using Obstagoon for this uh, gym battle. But I have plenty of Pokemon to use as a backup, so I have no worries at all. And you're going to send out Phantom? That's fine, we'll uh, stick with Obstagoon. And your very own Phantom, who uh, helped out against... Um, uh, who helped out in uh, my own one, helped out in the gym battle against Nessa, seeing as it's part grass type. Yeah, absolutely no problem at all for Obstagoon. And actually, I think I'm going to switch Pokemon for a bit. I'm just going to save you a little bit. And I'm going to try out... Uh, you know what, I'm going to bring out Rillaboom. Why not? Uh, Rilla, Rilla Boom, who's actually pretty close to leveling up, so this might actually help it, actually. So let's just use Knock Off. There we go, no problem at all. I do need to check my uh, TMs and TR like bag just to see if I've got any new moves. And yep, sure enough, Rilla Boom has leveled up. Perfect. A bunch of money there. So let me just have a very quick look in my bag, because I definitely picked up a lot of items. So let's see, we've got the heavy ball from the ball guy. Uh, just a bunch of berries. I think a lot of them were from the Max Ray battles in that uh, little uh, session I did. Uh, cracked pot. There's the normal gem. Uh, powers up, uh, strengthens the power of a normal type move one time. And a couple of TMs there. In fact, uh, let me just quickly go through. So we've got Fly. Psychic Fans, Cosmic Power, Zen Headbutt, Toxic Spikes, Drill Run, High Horsepower, and Brave Bird. Right, let's just sort that by number. Uh, do I have any useful, like, Dark Type or Ghost Type moves? i got Shadow Ball, but only Obstagoon can learn it. And I think Obstagoon's attack is significantly higher than its special attack, so probably not worth it. Uh, I do have... Um, beat up there, but none of my Pokemon can learn that. Yeah, actually, I don't really have... I've got Throat Chop there. Hmm. That could be tempting, actually. I could temporarily teach that to talk to Tristy. But you know what? I think we're going to be okay. Right, into the next bit. And, oh god, this is where it starts to get a little bit annoying. Uh, which way do I want to go? No, that's not the way I wanted to go, but that's fine. Um, let's just try and get into this hand. So interestingly, it's a, the, they're green hands in this gym, whereas in Sword, it's like uh, 
like a effectively like a boxing glove, seeing as it is a fighting type gym. So that's kind of cool. Yep, needs to go down here and spin to the end. All right, that wasn't too bad. Okay, next person. Oops, I accidentally uh, knocked my elbow on the desk there. Hopefully, I didn't uh, interfere with the mic too much. Okay, Lynn, let's see what you have. A Corsola. Ah, that's right, a Galarian Corsola. Oh dear, you do not look happy at all, do you? <laughs> you do not look happy at all, uh, Corsola. Ooh, you managed to survive that. Uh oh. That's not good. That means I can't use Night Slash. Okay, well, in that case, then, I'm just going to have to bring out... Uh, hmm, let's bring out Rillaboom. Because I kind of need that attack. I suppose I could teach that uh, TR-like dark type move that I had in my uh, TM case to... Um, Obstagoon, just as like a backup. Because I kind of forgot that some of these Pokemon might learn Disable and it might prevent, it might uh, restrict uh, some of my potential attacks here. Although Obstagoon leveled up, so. Uh, no, I think I'll be alright. We'll leave it. It's fine. I've got plenty of Pokemon that know at least one Dark type move, so we should be okay. Anyway, next round. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, which way do I want to go? I want to go, whoop, oh, come on, into the gap, in the gap, in the gap, there we go. Whoa! Okay, now we need to... No, okay, I think what I need to do is I need to go to the left so I get a nice launch. Because it's just not quite high enough to go to the right there. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Oh, little um, collision there, but it's fine. And oh, get in there, nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. If I, if anything, I think the first area caused me the most trouble. <laughs> Can you understand what ghost type Pokemon are weak to? I don't think so. Um, I think so actually. Um. I think uh, my Obstagoon can uh, prove you wrong. <laughs> so you send out a Haunter. I'll bring out my Obstagoon. So let's use Night Slash. There we go. No trouble at all for Obstagoon. Are you going to send out Drift Limb? I'm actually going to switch out Pokemon. I'm going to give you a bit of a rest, uh, Obstagoon, and I'm going to bring out Toxtricity, because if you're going to send out uh, Drift Blim, uh, Toxtricity should be able to help out here. So let's just use Discharge. Nice. Other Pokemon are about to level up, but there we go, we defeated Roy. And that's all of the gym trainers uh, battled. So, up the stairs, but let me just rearrange my Pokemon a little bit. I think I'm going to use a different Pokemon just to start the battle. So I'll tell you what, just to start things off, I'm going to use Rillaboom, and then I'll use Obstagoon like, later on in the battle. I think that's probably going to be a good thing to do. Goal! Gym mission cleared. Nice. Okay, here we go. Time for the next gym battle. Although, if I can pull it off, let's just try it. There we go. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> I might be a little bit dizzy, but I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh my, it's a shy guy. <laughs> I'm Alistair. Here I go. Okay then.
Okay, I am challenged by Gym Leader Alistair. <laughs> Man. How weird is that, Alistair? Anyway, first off, we got a Yam Mask, which actually um, is actually very useful for me. I'm just going to use drum beating on it. Sweet. Also, I just noticed you're only level 34, but it is only your first Pokemon, so... Yeah, there we go. No problem at all. That was lucky. Lucky first choice there. Uh, next up, Mimikyu. Ooh. Ah, uh, let's keep Rillaboom up for now. I think this is the first time we've battled you, isn't it? Possibly. Um, obviously I know you're part ghost type, but I can't remember what other Pokemon type you are. Ooh, Disguise. Oh dear, I broke its neck. <laughs> um, right, uh, let's try knock off again. Yeah, it's doing normal damage, so I'm trying to think what other type it is. It's a part fairy type. Oh, I can't remember. It might be part fairy type, thinking about it. Which is probably why it's not doing a huge amount of damage, but that's okay. We'll just give it a good drum beating. There we go. Mimic you as they knocked out. Oh, nice! Toxtricity and Dreadmore have leveled up. And Vibrava's getting close, too. Uh, next up, ooh, Cursula. Ooh, Cursula, right. Um, hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to Dreadnore for now. What, oh, obviously it's going to be part ghost type, but obviously it's Cursula, so it's not going to be like the uh, the original Cursula. So I don't know if it's... I don't know what type it is, so we'll just give it a go. Uh, we'll just use Bite and just hope for the best. And yeah, that definitely wiped it out. Yeah, all this training's definitely paid off, and sure enough, Fire Bravo is now level 38. Ooh, you want to learn Earth Power? Okay. Uh, user makes the ground under the target erupt with power. That sounds pretty decent. Um, let's see. Although, uh, your special attack's not that great. Uh, let's see. What would be most useful? You know what? I think. I was gonna say dig is more powerful, but it takes two turns. I think I think I'd rather keep bulldoze to be honest, but I don't even know if I am gonna keep Vibrava in the team right now. Uh, next up, we're gonna send out Gengar. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna switch. And you know what? I think the best Pokemon is gonna be Obstagoon. And seeing as we're well, seeing as you're down to your last Pokemon, uh, Alistair. Let's turn things up a notch, shall we? My very last Pokemon. How lonely. How frightening. There's Gengar. Oh, it is level 36. Oh, I'm only one level higher than it, so actually I'm kind of glad I did a bit of training. Anyway, yeah, that's Dynamax and Muse, Max Darkness. Gengar, Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness. Oh my. <laughs> that is one massive mouth you've got there, Gengar. Of course, it is a Gigantamax Gengar. I wonder what Luigi would think if... Uh, he encountered, like, a Gigantamax Gengar in Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> well, that's okay, I'll Dynamax my Pokemon. Sadly, it's just a Dynamax Pokemon, but I have faith in my Obstagoon. Ooh, but well, you managed to get an attack out first. Okay, hang in there, Obstagoon. Yep, yeah, okay, no problem. Oh, 
Oh, instant knockout, Obstagoon, you beast. <laughs> you beast, Obstagoon. Nice. Oh, and you got a level up for that, and so did Riolu. Nice. Uh, Riolu wants to learn Force Palm. Yes, I'll have you learn Force Palm. Uh, I'll have you forget... Ah, uh, forget Screech, it's fine. Real Boom's getting close to leveling up as well, which is nice. Good job there, Obstagoon. I nearly lost my mask from the shock. That was... Wow. I can see a skill for what it is. Question is, are we going to see under your mask? Or was it going to be forever a mystery? I would say just like uh, what's his name from Watch Dogs 2. But no, there was one bit where uh, the guy actually had his mask forced off him. I doubt that. I doubt uh, the same thing will happen in this game. Thinking about it, anyway, we've got ourselves the ghost badge. Yep, yeah, that was our fourth gym badge. Nice. I can now catch Pokemon of up to level 40, which is convenient because I kind of wish I had that um, when I was in the wild area um, in the previous episode. But oh well, that's the way it goes. I have defeated Alistair, and I get a TM of Pex. Nice. This relentless attack does massive damage to a target affected by status conditions. And a complimentary ghost type uniform. Alright, there we go. Nice. Excellent. So, we got ourselves, well, our uh, fourth gym badge. So, I think what I'm going to do now, let me just quickly switch my Pokemon around because... I'm trying to think who the next gym... Well, the next gym I think is in Ballon Lee, I think? So I kind of want to move some Pokemon around. So we're going to bring Salazzle back. Probably not going to be requiring Obstagoon for now. Um, what about Vibrava? Who did I want to train up? Oh, I was training up... Um, Dr I was going to try and train up Dreepy, wasn't I? Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to... Worry about that right now. Maybe later on in the game, if I want to train up uh, Dreepy, I will do that. But I think for now, that will do. Any other Pokemon I want to maybe switch out? Let's have a quick look. Uh, no, all these Pokemon are going to be pretty low level, so I'm not going to worry about them. Oh, Corvusquire, actually. Because you're not too far away from, uh, well, hopefully, evolving. So I'll tell you what, we'll temporarily bring you. But I might switch things around uh, some other time. But there we go, we got ourselves our fourth gym badge. And presumably next up is going to be Ballon Lee. But uh, we will see uh, what happens in the next episode because no doubt there's going to be a few things that are going to happen along the way. So, for now, thanks very much for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.